Welcome back and hope you're all doing well. So in today's video I'm going to be creating a lampshade. Now I've seen quite a few different pieces um, throughout YouTube and Instagram as well. Quite a few people have been wrapping like um, yarn around the lampshade to create like a different kind of effect and texture on the lamp um, which is lovely and it gives off a really nice warm tone when the bulbs are on. Um, but I thought I'm going to go a little bit extra and do something a bit different. So I've been looking and H&M had a lampshade on there that really caught my eye and it was for £70. I'll put it on the screen so that you can see which one I'm talking about. But yeah, £70 and I was just like, that just looks like, straight away I just thought barbecue skewers. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Just going to get straight into the video. I'll show you um, what I use for this project, and I'll link everything down in the description box below for you as well. If you want to get the same thing, you might have lampshades already, but I actually brought my lampshades because I didn't have the same sizes as what I would need for the project. So I just went to the range for these pieces. So I got just your average lampshade. So this one was. It was actually on sale, I think it was £7.99 in the sale, so I thought I'll just get that because I don't actually have lampshades like this in the house that I could have used. I've got like a, um, currently in the living room here, and it's like a rattan one, not this shape, so I just thought I'll get one for this project, so that is that. And then this one is a smaller lampshade. Now I was looking through the range and I just couldn't find a small one that was all the same kind of width around both ends. There was a few that were like smaller here and it was like coming out a little bit. And for this project you need to have like straight down sides so that the skewers will go all the way around really seamlessly and there won't be any larger gaps if you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, this was $6.99 and I just thought I might as well get it. I can use the bottom half for another project if I wanted to. I don't have this marble effect in the house anymore, so I would probably spray paint this or, I don't know, just, I could upcycle that. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just this marble lampshade with the straight white clear uh, lamp, lampshade. As I was going around the shop, I was looking for these skewers and I went everywhere, like all the way around every aisle and then I thought oh okay it's going to obviously be in the outdoor section I don't know why I didn't think of that at the beginning but anyway so I went there and there was just this one pack left and I was like no I mean you get a hundred skewers in there these were just a pound I think and um, so I got this pack and then when I got to the till I found these <laughs> so I got one two three four packs so £4 for all of these um, and then I also picked up some uh, pliers which I've not ever used before um, but this is because the skewers have, let me just get one out for you so you can see. So the skewers have got this, obviously this sharp edge on the top so I don't really want that on the light so I was going to just use the pliers and just chop them all off to size. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Um, I've got my glue gun, which I'm going to use to glue the skewers to the light, and yeah, that's that. So I'll just get into the project and um, take you along with me. Okay, so firstly, you want to get your lampshade, and you just want to take off the outer layer. So I am just going to push this inside section here out so that I can see it from the top and you just want to cut completely through. So what we want to end up with is the shell of the um, wire top and bottom. So this is like a fabric 
outside and then it has like a plastic on the inside so as you can see here this is the fabric and this is the plastic so you want to take that all off quite stiff don't hurt yourself whatever you do okay so I've got my two um, sections now I thought that this top bit was secure to this because I was going to use the skewers you know that was going to be like my structure for the lampshade so that's not the case so now what I think I'm going to do is glue these two together using a skewer so how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to get this tray and I'm going to get a skewer two skewers and just cut them using my pliers I'm going to take that much off and then I'll glue them down and then glue them to the inside yeah. Okay. just need to heat my glue gun up so while that's heating up I'll take this one off skewers and I'm just going to chop them off at the ends and they're going to be about that height. Should be heated now. Okay so we want to get the smaller skewer and we're just going to get a bit of glue and put it right on the edge of the ring but just where this um hole is so just a little bit of glue that was quite a lot of glue already that's taken i'm going to turn it around and do exactly the same on the other side Now we want to do this section. Okay, so that's going to go like this on the inside. And I think all well, the best thing is to glue the wood on the outside, and I've just done it on the inside as well. And then that so that side what I should have done really is turned it upside down so you have to make sure that you're holding this because otherwise the weight might drop it off the wood so that that worked look it's secure I think I'm going to get another stick and just do the other sides just to give it that bit more um, a bit more of like a structure. Let's get the Now that I've done this, I've realised that it's going to be too um, long for the lampshade. It needs to be smaller than that um, if it's going to be anything like the picture. So, again, it's a lot shorter and I don't know why I've done it that big, but hey ho. So, uh, the quickest way for me is just to, I'm just going to snip while they're on there. So, I think probably that much. So now 
well. This is the bit that's going to take the longest, is um, to put all of these pieces all the way around this. Okay, so I'm going to start off by just cutting them all into the length that I want so that I don't have to keep stopping and starting, I can just apply and go. Um, what I will say is because the because this is going on top of this, it doesn't actually matter what length um, these ones are because you're not gonna they're gonna be like within the the lampshade. So you, sorry, I'm trying to get really comfortable. <laughs> um, so yeah, you'll see as I go along anyway what I'm talking about. You want to cut off the sharp end and then obviously you have this as your top edge because this top part is going to be where you're going to see it because it's going to be at the top where the lamp, the light is at, like from the light fitting. So I'm going to go with not too much. So I've got all the sticks cut, I may need to get some more. We want the flat edge to be right on the top of the white section, which is the top of the light where the um, light fitting is going to go. And then the rest of it can just come down. This is hard to show you guys. Okay, so. I'm going to get the glue. I'm just going to dab a little bit on the top. I think I might do the top and bottom this time and then stick it. Okay. And then we're literally just going to go all the way around. base and then this section is going to be sat on top so I'm going to glue it on there so halfway you can see these uh, skewer sections are longer and they're going to hit this section here so what you want to do is make sure that your next skewer is the height of this so it sits flush I'm just going to mark where that is with my finger and then I can just cut that section off. So if I put it back, that'll sit flush there and that's going to be the same on the other side and then I can continue as normal. So I hope you understand that. Back to Living. what it looks like and I think 
I'm going to leave it like that because I was going to stain this, but I think it's going to be, I think this colour is nice, like, it's fine. Um, also, as I was explaining, the bottom part, so obviously the lengths aren't all the same. If you want to make them all the same, that's absolutely fine, like you can, but there's no need because it's going to be hidden on uh, through this one. So remember, we cut the sections at the side to fit on top of this metal section. This is what it's going to get glued together to. Um, and yeah, all of the, the jagged edges will be hidden once this section is all filled. So this is the next part that I'm going to be doing now. So I think I'm going to be here for a while. So yeah, let's get to it. Now this part of the DIY was pretty time consuming, but if you are persistent with it, you'll end up with great results. I found that using sandpaper to file down the skewers along the way really helped as I noticed that there were a few that were a little longer than needed. Hello guys, so welcome back. I finally finished both sections of the lampshade, so I've got the smaller part and then also the bottom half um, it is very time consuming so just be prepared if you wanted to create something like this as the next like little steps that we need to do now is just attach them both together so um, this section I'm just gonna get the middle smaller part and just simply glue it to those two poles um, so if you remember from the beginning I uh, made sure that both sides were a little bit shorter on um, opposite ends so that it could fit through onto this section. So I can see them areas here. I'll just make sure that part and that part. I'm just going to get a piece of glue, rub it on there. To make sure that it's really secure as well, I think I'm just going to glue right in. Ow! I just burnt myself on the glue. Um, I'm just going to glue inside as well. So now that both sections are um, glued together, I would recommend taking out the bottom part. So just turn it upside down and take off this section because it's just going to get in the way of the bulb when that goes through the top part. So yeah, this part's not needed. So I'll just get rid of that, um, whether that's at the beginning um, of this project or now. It doesn't matter. Just get rid of it. 